Hi, this is Dr. Rubenstein, and we are in Ochiada, New York, and um, we're going to go through the, the Six Nations Iroquois Cultural Center. Let me turn this around here. And um, we're going to investigate this today. I just wanted to point out the headdresses, the differences here between the different headdresses. And you'll notice um, how they change. Here's the Mohawk. They have three up, Oneida, two up and one down. Let me go back there. The Anandaga, one up and one down. Cayuga, one down in, in a flurry of feathers, I guess. Seneca, one up in a flurry. And then the Tuscarora, which is the most recent addition, has not any feathers up. So let's go in and see what uh, is going on here. Quite a bit here. Um, here's a sign. Let me go over here and take a look here. There you see the, uh, the different nations, the different uh, reservations. Aquasastan's up here. And I wrote a book, Aquasastan Divide by More Than the St. Lawrence. Um, and you'll see that in the bottom. But this shows the uh, Haudenosaunee and Iroquois territory, past and present. And over there, of course, you can see it's uh, historic territory, at least its influence, uh, especially the Senecas. They were the, uh, some would say, the more powerful olive And lasted the longest, um, unaffected by the influences of the uh, Europeans. So over here, it says, when a man wantonly destroys one of the works of man, we call him a vandal. When we wantonly destroy one of the works of God, we call him a sportsman. Yep. And this is a traditional house. Here's a monument to America's oldest ally, the Iroquois Confederacy, people of the Longhouse. Mohawks, Oneidas, Onondagas, Cayugas, Senecas, to who were later added the Tuscaroras, constituting the Six Nations. Founded by Dakota and Hiawatha, who planted the Tree of Peace at Onondaga uh, sometime before the coming of Columbus. Erected by Aquasasa Mohawk Counselor St. Regis Reservation, which is where my wife's family is from. Indian paths were channels of trade and cultural confusion. They explain the presence in Canada of shells from the Gulf of Mexico and in New England of stone implements from the Jasper quarries of Magunchi, Pennsylvania. Yeah. People don't realize there's no horses. No horses until uh, Europeans came. So the way they got around was just that way. Um, the Indian paths served the white man's needs for a hundred or more years after his arrival and indeed in some places are still serving them. Mm -hmm. To convey intelligence from nation to nation and to spread information throughout the Confederacy as in uh, summoning councils upon public exigencies, trained runners were employed. Three days were necessary, it is said, to convey intelligence from Buffalo to Albany. Wow, that is quick. <clears throat> the sign up there says, the Empire State, as you call it, was once laced by our trails from Albany to Buffalo, trails that we had trod for centuries, trails worn to, so deep by the feet of the Iroquois League that they became your roads of travel as your possessions gradually cut into those of my people. Your roads still traverse those same lines of communication which bound one, bound one, 
have we, the first holders of this prosperous region, no longer a share in this, to sit down at the threshold of the longhouse? Had our forefathers spurned you from it when the French were thundering at the opposition, opposite door to get a whatever they had been, the fate of other Indians? The Iroquois might still have been a nation, instead of pleading here for the privilege of living within the borders. Maha Wana Cayuga. This was erected by Akwazasna. Yeah, I yeah, I read that, yeah. Gorgeous. Working on an incredible piece of artwork. This will be very nice. Very nice. Yeah. The three sisters, this is how they planted their food. Corn, beans, and squash. Food plants. The, uh, what's called the Colombian Exchange, brought a lot of food from this continent to the uh, Europeans. Fire, making, making fire, of course. Let's walk over here. Nice little path through here. This is just the outside. There's a museum inside too. We'll, we'll be uh, going in there. Trail signs. Panel portrays an 18th century Iroquois man as he marks a tree with a sign which communicates to fellow travelers that the trail turns to the right. The use of tree blazes, stones, tied grass, twigs, and sticks arranged in specific forms showed the fellow traveler the way of the trail such as these were used to point the way as well as to warn the traveler of dangers such as nearby quicksand. Signing is the same in principle and somewhat, meaning the trunk, log, or branch from the Atlantic Pacific from Hudson Strait to Rio Grande. Trail, it clearly says in the universal language of the, of the woods. So, marking trails. Interesting. <coughs> of course, Symbol of Mohawk, well, symbol of the Haudenosaunee, I should say. Working on a lot of artwork here. A lot of artwork. The Haudenosaunee Council. The panel depicts a chief, one of nine of the Mohawk Nation Council, addressing chiefs and clan mothers of the Seneca Nation. Both nations are part of the Haudenosaunee, Six Nations National Confederacy. It also includes the Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Tuscarora Nations. The Confederation, created many centuries ago, was given authority by orally transmitted constitutional called the Great Law of Peace. And I am not even going to try to pronounce that.
We walked over that way before. <coughs> nice little walking paths, I have to say that. This is nice. Well, we'll pick up inside. Well, let's go inside. I'm not sure if we'll be able to video in here, but we'll try it. Chief Clinton Pickard, Ola Daikane, ready. Patriot Historian, Tuscarora Order, and Humanitarian. Hello. Hi. For two? Okay, it's ten dollars, please. Huh. Need a receipt? See, this is packed full of different objects. I would highly recommend coming here. My wife is a Mohawk from Akwesasna, part of the Bear Clan. Wampum.
Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I am intrigued by all the wampum they have. Condolence cane is here. Oneida tribal belt. The original belt was long in the possession of Chief Scandai of Oneida as a friend and ally of George Washington during the Revolutionary War. Kelly, your family's cooks, which, yeah. these are all the cooks right here. Ernest, Harvey, Henry, Jake, John, James, Where are you are? Cook. Oh. That's for Michael Sasna. Mm -hmm. Tom. Tom Cook. found her family's name back there. She's from Aquasasna. Her name? Uh, Kelly. Um, the last name would have been Cooks. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. And the Bonaparte's are mixed in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. And Breno's. Yeah, I, I, as I tell my students, everybody's related. <laughs> somewhere along the line. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit like that. Was I a cook or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, I went to school with a Julius cook. Oh, Julius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Juice. Yeah. Let's call him Juice. There's a, let's, let's see, yeah, my mother loved Julius. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with her father. Well, there's just so many brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time, so. yeah, yeah. And, uh, have ten kids. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go up there quite a bit. Oh, good. Yeah, time. yeah. In fact, I wrote a book, uh, Aquasasana, divided by more than St. Lawrence. Yeah. Oh. And it's in, uh, they saw it down in the um, Iroquois Museum. Oh, no. And they saw they have it in the library up at Aquasas. Oh, I'll send you guys a copy. Yeah, we, if you're we interested, might have it. huh? We might have it. What's the title? Aquasas divided by more than the Saint Lawrence. You can find it on. Um, I can get you a better deal than what you can get on Amazon, oh, obviously. Okay. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll get your card before yeah, I leave. Yeah, and I'll, I have. I'm a YouTuber on top of everything else. Yeah. yeah let me see here. I should have. Yeah. Oops. Not here. And you can find it. I've got my books are listed in almost all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, cool. You got the QR code. Yeah, yeah. And this will be on there eventually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I edit it down. That's the new thing you know. Well, what I find, let me just shut this off for a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah the, um, uh, because my mom needed babysitters in the summer, my grandmother was there. Mm-hmm. So, um, everybody's a cousin. There's some cups in there. Pictures. there uh, I was trying to find them, but it's hard to find them. It's hard to read. I think it's Donald Cook. Yeah, that's what I Is there a Tom in there? Tom is my own call. Tom? Tom Cook. He, he's the one that's still alive. No, no, he would. Because um... there's another Tom Cook that's still alive. His there's... son is yeah. my cousin. Yeah. Yes. Tom. Bill Cook. Only he's in this one. That's Bill Cook. He was a world well, As you can see, this is a fantastic yeah. place. Yeah. It's really, really good. He was in his plane and he was going. I highly, highly recommend you come to this museum. You will find it. Ah, from the Wounded Knee Massacre. They just have such unusual, different things here. So that is our look at the Six Nations Cultural Center here in Ochada, I think, New York. I highly recommend coming here and looking around. The little bit of that I was able to show you in the museum was, was really nothing in a lot of ways. It just sort of what's your whistle. But uh, it's quite a place. Lots to see, lots to do. And so, uh, as I'm walking through the little woods here, I want to remind everybody to uh, please subscribe. If you can do that, I'd appreciate it. Um, Ring the bell, that way you'll know when the next one comes out. And um, hit the like button. Check out the description. I should have a bunch of uh, links there to more about this place here. Um, I'll have more... um, information on the books I sell and one of the books I sell is Aquasasana divided by more than the St. Lawrence and uh, you can pick that up fairly reasonable and um, so look at the description for that also I have stuff for Gypsy Guy and all of that so with all that please uh, please remember to look at the description so with that I guess I'll just say goodbye and have a good day bye now